Hello everybody, my name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be helping you hack the Pokemon Bank uh, through this tutorial. Things you will need is you will need either a copy of Pokemon White or Black, or Pokemon White or Black 2. Um, you will also need a Nintendo 3DS, you'll need to download the Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter app, and you will need a laptop in order to be able to do this. Um, I'm going to show you two websites that you need, as well as another program you can use in order to personalized Pokemon you want to use. So without further ado, here I go. Alright, here's step one. What you gotta do here is in order to get the Pokemon you want, you need to go to the site called Pokecheck.org. Um, when you get to the home page, this is what it should look like. Um, ignore the DNS settings at the top. You're not going to be using that for this uh, tutorial. Um, you're going to go down and just find whatever Pokemon you want. There is no Generation 6 Pokemon. And for an example, um, I guess I'll go ahead and use a Pokemon I know that's going to work. It's Genesect. When I pop up, there's a whole bunch of different versions of Genesect. You can see their IVs. You can see if it's shiny or not, what items it's holding. Items aren't really going to matter because it's not going to go through the bank, so just ignore items. It's pointless. Then, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click this gen a second. I'm going to use it. You're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says download PKM file. If it does not have a spot that says download PKM file, but more than likely the Pokemon um, is not legit enough to be able to go through the Pokemon bank. Obviously, none of these Pokemon are legit because they're created. But the, the, how they're generated is each Pokemon has a specially designed a nickname, so that way the Pokemon... Uh, bank server can't tell that this Pokemon is hacked. So then you press download, and wherever you download it to, um, just remember where you downloaded it to and whatnot. And that's step one. Now that you have a Pokemon downloaded, and you can download multiple ones during this step, um, it's up to you. So I'm going to go to step two now. All right, time for step two. Next thing you want to do is optional. Um, this Next thing you're going to need is the Pokemon Generator. It's just Pokemon Ge Poke Gen for short. Um, you can search it in Google and it'll be the first thing that pops up. You'll click on that. And you can download the um, the program in order to use. Just go to Poke Gen, press download. I already have it on my computer. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> Funny voice, I know. Um, where are we going to. Ah, here we go. Let's pull this up. All right, you're just gonna click open and find the PKM file from the Pokemon Check uh, site that you downloaded. And I gotta find the Genesect. I'll just use this one, and then you can personalize it, like change its uh, original trainer information. You can take off the shiny if you want to. Um, Changes location, it's Pokeball. Um, something very important uh, make sure any attacks you change are legit. If the Pokemon cannot actually learn that move, or if you change its ability to something it's not actually able to have, it will not go through the bank server. So make sure um, attacks and abilities are legit. Um, also, just as a side note, back, back here on the Poke Gen or the Pokemon Check site that I just showed you, Occasionally, there are some Pokemon that don't work. Like, I searched for this Ampharos, and let me pull it up. It's this one right here. It did not work for some reason, but that's the only Pokemon I've had trouble with. Other than that, everything works. So, if it, for some reason, one Pokemon doesn't work, don't give up. Just re download a different one. And then I'll go back, got a little off track there for a second. You'll go back to the Pokemon Generator thing and just save it. Save Pokemon from tabs. You can save it over what you already have or give it a different name. I'm just going to save it over what I already have. And voila. And next step is actually um, transporting it. So here we go. All right, next thing on the list is to get your 3DS out or 3DS XL. You're going to want to go to your settings app, and you're going to want to click Internet Settings. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this. You're going to go to your connection settings, 
and click whatever connection you're using that the laptop or tablet or whatever you're using um, to send the hacked Pokemon through. Make sure they're both on the same network. So click that same network on, on my second connection. Um, press change settings. And you're going to go over to DNS. Click DNS. Auto obtain. Click no. And then type in this code for both primary and secondary DNS. You can pause the screen for a second just to make sure you're able to type this in alright. And I will also put it somewhere in this video. Alright. Once you're done with that, um, you're going to need to go back to your computer and do some upload. So, time for step four. All right, welcome back. Now we are on step four, and you're going to need to go to this website right here called PokeGTS.us. Just type in that, and you'll go right to the site. You're going to want to click Upload Pokemon and click Fifth Gen Black or White. Then uh, you're going to click Choose File and find the Pokemon that you have chosen. I'm going to go down, and I'm using the Genesect, so I'm going to click in on that Genesect. I'm going to click submit and now here's when you're gonna to have to get your uh, DS back in order you're gonna just go to the GTS on your uh, game and this Pokemon should come out of it so I'm gonna stop this for a second and we're gonna see hopefully this works alright I'm back again now you're gonna be in your uh, go to the GTS you know click into it and whatnot And click GTS, don't hit GTS, no, uh, whatever the other option is. Just hit regular GTS. I'm going to wait for my game to save so you can see what's going on. Alright. I'm going in like a pro. Connect your. You know, just do what you normally do for the GTS. It's connecting, it's connecting. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. There you, go. you can see a little circle thing. It's been, if, the circle th if the circle thing down there stops, then that's probably a bad thing. And there's my chain effect. This is my game. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to use the bank part of this. Alright, next you're going to need to access the Pokemon Transport. But before you do, go back to your internet settings and make sure you change your DNS back to um, uh, auto obtain. So just hit, go back and click yes. Um, if you do not do this, um, you're not going to be able to connect to your internet or get onto the Pokemon Bank. Um, I'm going back real quick, so just give me like two seconds here. I have a stylus, but I haven't been using it like the entire time. Um, Alright. Please forgive me for this little interruption. Um, Alright, here we go. I'm going back, and I'm going to click the Pokemon Transporter. Make sure that your copy of White, White 2, or whatever is still in there, um, or else it kind of beats the purpose. Uh, and start, I'm just going to use the button now for this. It's going to connect to the server. Alright, just a reminder, like past generations in the past, we're not able to send the Pokemon back to the game, so... Um, once this is an X and Y, it is never going back. Alright, there's going to be some stuff. Obviously, it's attention to not go send some of the Pokemon through because there are some Pokemon I did not legitimately get. And the Genesect is there. Plus, I have a Kyogre and some other stuff that I meant to send over last night but never did. Um, and to send it over and use the Pokemon Bank like usual, like for the transport. And you're good. You got your hack Pokemon in. Um, just with one closing note, I do not encourage um, cheating during competitions. Uh, 
So don't cheat during the competition. Play fair. Um, enjoy your hacking.